Lou Trevino's back. Are we live right now? We're live right now. Oh, nice. Sit down. Have a seat. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am just. I need to adjust to what you looked like when you were a kid with no <laughs> beard. Uh, I definitely lost whatever attractiveness I had. It's, it's gone. <laughs> what was that? What was it like when you shaved it and you looked in the mirror? It was disgusting. I forgot. I realized I had no uh, no chin. You know, it goes mouth, neck, no jawline. So it really, uh, the beard hit it. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I was thinking about this, and you may not remember, but it was right before you got traded. We didn't, we, we had no idea it was going to happen, right? And I was late coming down the steps. You were coming up the steps. Normally, Lou, what's up? How's it? You know, there's a conversation. I was like, Lou, how you doing? And I kept going. And then you got traded. I went, oh, my God. I felt so bad. And I didn't get to say, like, Lou, what's up? And the next thing you know, you were gone. That was rough. I mean, for a lot of fans and everything, you you, uh, you leaving. I mean, what you meant to this to this team, I know what it meant to you. It couldn't have been easy. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I let, <laughs> I let the fans down a little bit this year with leaving with a six. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Um, but, um, but, no, it's been – the, the years that I've been here, the friendships that I've been able to to have, uh, not only with the front office teammates, I mean, I've been able to meet a lot of fans. Like, it's it's definitely different to be in another another uniform, playing for another team in another city. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss Oakland. I'm I'm gonna miss all of it. Well, I'm happy for you because yeah, there are times a reset's great. Right. You, you go somewhere and not, now you're not worried. You're not trying to get everything back in one outing. Now you can get back to being yourself. Have you felt like that in New York? Yeah, I've uh, ironically enough, I, I feel I feel great. Um, I've been as the more I throw, I feel like the better I, I've, I've been getting. You know, they've uh, they've had a few tips for me. And, and I feel like, like like my old self, like 2018, 19, Lou, um, you know, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm getting the cutter back, which was my pitch. That used to be my bread and butter. And the last two, three years, I've lost it. And and they've they've been able to show me a, a few things to get that back. And and, and I, I've been feeling better and better. Um, and you know, it's nice to um, it's, it's nice to have have that success that I know I could have. You know, it's it's nice to have that again. And past success is always huge. And I think about one of the greatest moments of your career. Because your family was there, the wild card game, you stepped up huge at Yankee Stadium. How much could you call on that moment for when you got traded and you went out there and started pitching for the Yankees? Uh, I mean, it's definitely it's definitely good to have that success there. You know, it is a smaller bar ballpark. It's very hitter friendly, and and at times, especially with the crowd, you know, it's it's easy to get out of it. But uh, to be able to have the success that I've had at Yankee Stadium, you know, it's it's a good. Um, uh, a reminder of how how good you can be, you know, what, once you go there, and 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 I've enjoyed it so far. It's been it's been awesome. When you stand on the mound and you look out at right field, you just like just go, really? It's that it's that short? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fly ball. You kind of hold your breath, but uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's I mean, it's like a sandwich to get it out of there. It's nothing. Yeah, I mean, how I feel is how hitters feel when they come here. When they look at all the foul ground, they're like, "Are you kidding me? This is this is in play right here." Yeah, yeah. you know. So every every stadium has their has their advantages and, and disadvantages, um, but you know I, I I couldn't be I couldn't be more thankful and blessed to to have had had the career that I had here and and also to to start start my, uh, my the next chapter with with the Yankees. You know I I think about you guys coming here and you know we were just talking about you know no one wants to hear people complaining about traveling and stuff like that. You guys travel in such such luxury, but I was talking about for East Coast teams. They love coming out here because you don't have humidity. You can come out and have batting practice, and it's the nice weather. Have you guys talked about that since you guys have arrived? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's it's beautiful out here. You know, California has probably one of, if not the best, what weather in, in all the United States. I mean, it's it's beautiful year round. Uh, I think the biggest challenge is as an East Coast team is coming out here than having to go back and 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 being on on short sleep. You know, you get sleep, sleep yeah. cycles kind of switch. So, you know, when, when you're here in the West Coast, it's easy. You know, you know you only have a week down, out there, and when you go back, you're going to be fine. But when you go back there and it's 3 o'clock and it feels like 12, you know, sometimes that can be tough, especially playing day games. But, um, yeah, it's it it's nice to not have to deal with the humidity, the sweating, 
uh, like, you know, we had our first rain delay. I haven't had a rain delay in, I feel like, years, <laughs> you know? So I, I can I could count on one hand the amount yeah. of times it rained here, you know? It's, yeah. it's, it's just been perfect weather all the time. So it's it's definitely an adjustment, but, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, we were asking Josh Donaldson this, and obviously it's been a while since J.D. played here, but, you know, when you think about your time here, you pitched in some big games, some real big games. Have you had any time just to kind of – reflect on your career with the athletics oh yeah I, I, absolutely i feel like i i reflect on it all the time but there's a i feel like and i could be wrong here and maybe ask me in 10 years it'll be a different answer but when you start reflecting on something that you're currently doing you kind of get stuck in the past yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah there's um it's it's nice to think about you know i mean if you step back and and the, the fact that god's blessed me with the job to play a little little league game you know essentially is that that's what i get to do for, for a living but if you get stuck on that, you kind of you kind of lose that edge. You're always, you know, I mean, that's kind of how life is. You know, you, you kind of you got to You got to look for, for the next thing, although you take you do take a step back and you enjoy it. But I feel like I, I won't have the time necessarily to to really step back and look at it until, until my career is over, because now I'm focused on focused on the next thing, you know, focus on, you know, hopefully win a World Series with, with the Yankees. So it's, uh, you know, it's. You know, maybe I have a different answer in, in, in 10 years when my career's over. Hopefully, it's 20 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, I'm retired and you're still playing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So I have to think the big winners beyond just you has to be like your dad and your mom. Oh, yeah. and they don't have to stay up late anymore. They can actually watch games at a normal time. Just how. To have their son back on the East Coast, not staying up late, has to be huge for them. My my family and my dad in particular have been super giddy. You know, yeah. like you don't have to stay up till one o'clock because that's when I pitch. One o'clock, all right. My mom's usually asleep. My dad's all right, hon, hon, get up, get up. You know, and my grandparents are able to go to sleep at a, a decent time now. But you know, it's nice to be able to be home. And if I want to, you know, I, I live two hours from from uh, New York City. So if I want to, on all, I can just go home and, and see everyone. I have a little niece that and a little nephew. With, you know, I haven't seen them in, you know, ever since I left for, for the season. So it's nice to be that close. And I know with my, my parents, um, they were able to see my, my Yankees debut. Yeah. And we was, saw it. It was great. You yeah. Got to, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got to work on the handshake a little bit, but, uh, um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It's, it's, it's nice to be back on the East coast. Nice to be close to family. And it's, it's been a real blessing. I mean, not to talk too personally about it, but you've moved to Florida. Yeah. And, you know, you have your life there now, and you'll train in Florida. will make it a lot easier for you. A lot easier. I don't have to worry about shipping anything. You know, you just make the drive from from uh, from the east side to the west side, two hours, three hours, whatever it is. It, you know, it makes it definitely makes things easy. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely going to miss Arizona. I'm going miss, to miss it here. You know, again, I, I can't. I can't begin to thank the A's enough for 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 the years that that they've they've given me. I feel like there's there's at times where I know I'm I'm sure if you're a fan you're like what what the heck is this guy still doing up here? Especially some at certain points this year. But to have the A's believe in me, um, you know the, the teammates have been <laughs> talking about the lack of beard. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, just the, the to meet the people that I've met, you know. I, I, again, I know I've said this a lot, but I, I really couldn't be more blessed. You know, God's blessed me beyond what I deserve. So I'm I'm so thankful just to, to to be able to to be able to come back. And it's nice to be able to come back here, not years later. You know, I I, feel I was just here three weeks ago. Yeah. You know, so it's good to see everyone again. And yeah, it's just it's it's been it's been fun. Well, you're grateful. It's what makes you a really good guy, and that's why we've always appreciated uh, you coming on this show and. You're real honest. There were some struggles, and you've always owned up to it. You know, some people shy from it. You don't. I think that's going to help you in New York and throughout the rest of your career because, you know, when you get in, in a big meteor market, they're gonna, if you ever do bad, they're going to ask you about it. you got to well, be a I'll man about it. I'll never do bad. What are you talking about? No, I'll, never, I'll never struggle. Yeah, yeah. It, it, <laughs> you will just be – you're Mariano Rivera, and you're the next – Exactly. You got the cutter back. Exactly. Is that, by the way, just from, you know, getting into it, when they start – giving you suggestions because obviously when they traded for you they said we're going to take him and we're going to try this mm -hmm. when you started doing those changes were you like wow i didn't think about that or why didn't i think about that yeah it's it's uh it's it's interesting how i guess i've never had you know i've always had one perspective i've been with the A's for years you know yeah. i've been training where i've trained for years 
and I've never got different perspectives on things. So to get another perspective and, and thinking uh, different thoughts when it comes to not only pitching, but the, you know, mechanics, whether, whatever it is, you know, I, I got a different perspective. And like I said, I've been feeling better and better and better. So it's nice. You know, I've always known what, what I'm capable of doing. I showed that in 2018 and 19. I'm not saying I had a bad year last year. I thought I had a pretty good year, but it wasn't up to, you know, my standard. You know, I, I have a tough time accepting me- mediocrity. I guess that's why I've all, I'm always trying to get better and better. But um, and I, I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm arriving to where I, I should have been for the last two, two, three years. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for, for the Yankees kind of seeing seeing the, the potential that, that I had, and, and I feel like they're, they're going to help uh, exploit it. And I know for, for Frankie Montas, he got off to a tough start. Obviously, the, the family yeah. uh, problem that he had, and you feel so bad in just a rough way. Uh, last start was better, and because, you know, we're rooting for you guys and would love to see you guys win. And uh, hopefully Frankie, from a mindset, is doing a little better now. Yeah, Frankie's going to be fine. Uh, it's it's one of those things, I mean, you know, uh, from from a – from an outsider's perspective, I don't think you see you see a guy just go out in the mound and just throw strikes. It's that easy. Well, he threw what eight innings in, in in July, so he's been he hasn't had the 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 consistency when it comes to throwing, and then to throw you know a family loss in in the mix, traveling all over over the place, getting traded. You know he hasn't had that uh, uh, the re- repetition that we're used to having. You know, as a baseball player, you come out and throw you throw every single day. You know, I know for me in the All Star break four days. Sometimes that feels like I haven't thrown for a month. And then I, sometimes I struggle after the all-star break just because you're used to throwing and throwing and throwing and all of a sudden you stop for four days. So he stopped for, I don't know, two weeks uh, essentially and then started throwing again. So I, I mean, I wasn't worried about it because the guy is disgusting. He's filthy. He has some of the best stuff in all baseball. And I think last, last game, he kind of proved that he started to look like himself again. And, and I know that, you know, as, as the year goes on, as he gets the consistency when it comes to throwing and everything else, he's going to be just as nasty, if not more, you know, coming down the stretch. Well, I can't thank you enough how good you've been to us for all these years. It's been fun to watch you grow. And what's crazy is we hate the Yankees, and now we got to root for the Yankees because of you <laughs> and Frankie. It's like, no. Like it's like it's one thing if like Bassett gets traded to the Mets, who cares? It's the Mets, right? You get you went to the Yankees, but we got to root for it. I can't tell you how many people have told me that. They're like, you went to the evil empire. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm happy to be here. I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Pennsylvania people don't love New York. No, as a, as growing up a Phillies fan, when they beat us in 2019, like that really stung, you know. But uh, no, it's it's yeah, it's 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 awesome. I, again, I, I can't. Beyond thankful. No, hey, listen, thank you for everything. Of we'll be rooting for you. Well, yeah. We'll be rooting for you. That's going to do it for – we're going to end Ace Cast Live today with the great Lou Trevino. How about that? <laughs> Say goodbye to Ace fans. See you guys. Thanks for everything.